Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show how to make the status bar of your Android device transparent if it is already running Android KitKat and yet the transparency isn't enabled by default. This is gonna be my first video, so kindly bear with me. As you can see, my device is already running um, KitKat, which is Android 4.4.2 and my device is the international variant of the Galaxy S1 i9000 it only has 5 and 2 MB of RAM and this in spite of running Android KitKat the status bar and neither the background of the notification panel are transparent now for the tutorial I need two basic things the first one is that your device should be rooted and second is that you should have an app which can na uh, navigate the root partition of your device I'm gonna be using root explorer for that so let's proceed we'll be going into the root partition of your device and out of the various folders and files available we have to go inside the system folder and edit the build.prop of the device I'm gonna be using the text editor in this file we have to find one particular line of code which is the um, yep ro ro.config low ram equal to true now we need to delete the entire line and save and exit it is done and now I'll just reboot the device reboot ok Now the reason this thing is happening is because when Google released Android KitKat which was 4.4 they made certain necessary changes in order to optimize the OS to run on devices, low end devices which have 5 and 2 MB of RAM as well. So they classified the two devices as uh, devices which have more than 1 GB of RAM and devices which are having less than 1 GB of RAM. In devices which are having less than 1 GB of RAM, they disabled the transparency features and a lot other uh, aesthetic features like um, some animations and all that. But the main stuff was they disabled the status bar transparency and the navigation bar transparency because they thought that it would unnecessarily burden the already <laughs> minuscule 5 and 2 MB RAM of the device. Also. Uh, in the Nexus 4, I observed that even after getting the Android KitKat update and even though the device has 2 gigs of RAM, the stock launcher does not in have transparency. Now, because of that, we are going to use a launcher which supports transparency in KitKat. I, I know of two launchers which support it. One is the Nova launcher and second is the Apex launcher. I'm gonna be using the Nova launcher in this tutorial so this option should be enabled for you by default or um, if it is not you'll have to enable it go into Nova settings look and feel um, transparent notification bar this will only work if your system or ROM supports it and allows third-party apps to use it previously the device was not supporting it but after we edited the build.prop the device will support it now and as you can see we have a very good transparent notification bar and the status bar is here and even the notification bar is transparent now since my brightness is very low I don't think you people will be able to see it but yeah I think it should be visible now my root explorer is visible in here so in if you are using a device like the Nexus 4 which is already uh, having more than 5 gig 5 GB uh, sorry not 5 GB which is already having more than 1 GB of RAM all you need to do is install a third party launcher like the Nova launcher or the Apex launcher and get the latest version from the Play Store and both of them support the transparency effect if not like if you're running a device which has less than 1 GB of RAM you have to edit the build.prop like I've shown in the video and finally you can get the transparency effect so yep here it is so that's all for the current video in the next video um, I'm gonna be showing um, 
how to make the status bar hundred percent transparent i don't know if you can see it or not but i'm having a we are having a very small amount of shadow on the top edge of the status bar in spite it um, even though it should be transparent it is partly transparent i would say we have a shadowy effect on top of it and if my device had a navigation bar at the bottom even the shadow effect would have continued there also in my next video i'm um, i will be showing you guys how to get 100% transparency by using an app called as exposed module we will be installing the exposed module enabling it and installing another application and making the state uh, status bar 100% transparent mm, that's all for the current video guys thanks a lot have a nice day bye bye